Hi, I want to show you my project called Landonos. These are little sensors for Arduino and the Internet of Things. So what they are is wireless sensors using an NRF24 module. And what I built here is a setup using an Arduino Nano, uh, NRF24 module, and an OLED display as well as uh, three LED candles I made, so they're candles with LEDs inside. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the batteries and uh, the temperature is gonna be transferred to the Arduino and each one of these controls the color of one of the LEDs. So let me switch off the light so you can see that. So as you can see, these are now red when I load the sensor will be the sensor the external temperature sensor will be cold so it will actually turn blue and as I heat it up it will change color so when I heat up the first sensor I will turn uh, the LED to a red color also this one and the third one as well. Okay, so what about the Internet of Things? To connect it to the Internet, I made a special node called the Alpha node, which has an ESP8266 on it, which is connected to Wi-Fi. I have one actually here in a housing I made, and it is streaming live data from these sensors here. Um, so these two are the same as the one I've just shown you, uh, but they have the temperature sensor integrated on the board so you can put them anywhere. So they're actually also the battery is magnetic so you can put it on your fridge or something. And it measures temperature. So you can see the curves rise I'll show you a close-up in a second. And then there's another one which has an environmental sensor that measures also humidity and pressure apart from, from temperature. So if I heat this one up, the curve will also change. And then the third one is actually made for measuring the soil moisture of plants. So you put it uh, in your plant and it can tell you when you need to water it. So the alpha node receives the sensor data through the NRF24 module. It then uh, um, calculates all the temperature, humidity, moisture values and puts it in a useful format and then streams it live to this demonstration page. Um, so I will refresh this and zoom in a little bit onto the screen. So as you can see, they are now updating at about one times per second. Um, at this rate, the battery will last about a month, maybe a little more. And if you tune this down to like one minute or 10 minutes, even it can last for a year or two, two years. So you can see the temperature, if I, I heat them up by putting my hand on it, the temperature will rise. Actually then one of them went into a, a slow data mode, so I just reset them and they will go to fast data mode. Um, you can also see here the humidity, um, so if I hold it in my hand the humidity will rise and it is quite sensitive and what is impressive, so if I refresh again to zero the graphs, um, you can see how sensitive this is. If I rise it up, the air pressure is actually lower up here, so the graph will drop and if I put it on the floor, it will rise and if I put it back on the table, 
which go to about the same value as before. Then the plant sensors um, is actually a capacitive probe and it measures, measures the capacitance uh, of whatever is in front of the sensor. Oh, I'm sorry. So it is like a, like a touch button. So if I, if I hold my hand on it, it will rise. And so if I reset this, and if I put it in the plant here, it will show the moisture. And if I put some water in, you can see the level actually rising. And then it will eventually drop off as the water flows away into the rest of the soil. Oh, it might take some time. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments or on the Arduino forum. Bye.